welcome back to my channel I am Billy and this is Billy X Luxury so in today's video I thought we would do a spotlight on one of my Hermes fashion jewelry items okay so the particular one that I have is called the hinged bracelet so um, it's part of the Hermes fashion jewelry line there is heaps of different bracelets now when I um, got this one as a gift when I first was looking in Hermes there weren't too many different types of bracelets but now there is heaps all sorts of different ones so this is just one of the type of bracelets that Hermes sell in their fashion jewelry line it's very similar to the uh, the H click clack bracelet which is the one that everyone knows of um, but I just like it because it's a little bit more understated and not so obvious what it is so it is made up of printed enamel on both sides so either side has a different pattern on my particular version there is other versions that have the same pattern running the whole way around it is gold plated so mine is actually rose gold plated and the locking mechanism is just a press together and pull apart and a click together so my one is in the thin size. It also comes in a thicker size. My one is in a size small. So for reference, I wear a size 17 and a Cartier Love bracelet. So the small size in Hermes is kind of the equivalent to if you wore a 17, for instance, in the Love bracelet. Here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. I like to do insights, unboxings, reviews, show you guys my latest purchases, tell you um, how I'm going with my Hermes journey, etc. So if that is the sort of thing you like to watch on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and click the notifications bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video, which is every single week. Uh, anyway, let's get into the video. So I'm going to show you some juicy close-ups and then I'm going to show you a few different stack options um, to go with say Cartier Love, Van Cleef and I have a Bulgari bracelet here that I'm also going to show you how it looks stacked. So this is more of like your statement sort of um, bracelet. It's not really an everyday I would say. Okay so I just wanted to show you guys some juicy close-ups. Now I have had this bracelet probably going on about four years it is uh, the first sort of designer item that my partner purchased me for me when we started um, dating. I think he got it for me for Christmas. So at that stage, I mean, we'd only been together like six months and I guess this was quite a big investment for him. So that's why I really like it. It sort of reminds me of, you know, when we first started dating. This color is no longer available. Every sort of season or every so often Hermes brings out different um, color combinations and enamel um, prints. So this one is not one that you could get anymore because it is an older version. But I mean you could probably pick it up on the pre-owned market. I do still have the sticker in there with all of the details on it. If you um, like this print I definitely am a fan of animal print which is why I chose this one. So we'll do some close-ups. I'll show you what it looks like. So mine is a little bit scratched and a little bit dirty, as you can see, because I have used it for quite a number of years. But if you can see here, the inscription says Hermes, and that is on either side of the bracelet. On the top, you can see that there are four little I guess like bolts they don't come off they're just purely there for um, visual effect as you can see here it is like an enamel plaque um, which sits inside of the rose gold or the rose gold plating when you come around to the back my cats are like going cray at this magpie outside so just excuse them talking to the magpie so here is four more of those little bolts which is exactly the same as the front and then this is the other side of the enamel printed so to open this is a squeeze together my cat is making some really weird noises so squeeze and pull apart 
So this piece is quite scratched up because this is the piece that rubs against the inside when closing it. You can see the scratches on the other side. It's not visible when worn so it doesn't really matter. And then when we're taking a look at the inside it's quite scratched up as well. So to close you simply click together and then it is locked, it is very secure, there is absolutely no way that you can get this bracelet off unless you push the button to release. So that's how it works. I really loved the inscribing on the side, I feel like it is just so low key. Nobody would know what this bracelet is, I don't think, unless they really know Hermes. So when we're taking a look at the inside, it has some inscribing. So it says Hermes size small, let's just focus, Hermes size small and then it has my serial number and then down the bottom here it says made in France and then I also have the sticker still on it which tells you the name of this bracelet and the barcode. This sticker's never bothered me so I just haven't ever bothered to take it off. Click! Okay so now I'm going to stack my Hermes hinged bracelet with a few of my other bracelets so that you can see how that looks. I prefer to wear it with the animal print on the outside because I just really love animal print. So we'll put on my Bulgari bracelet. This is how it looks. Stacked with that. This bracelet is very very similar to the small size just on clue from um, Cartier. It's a sort of bendy bracelet, very thin as well. So this is um, very similar to that. So I guess that could give you a bit of an idea if you had the size small just on clue, what it would look like with the hinged cuff. The next one I'm gonna show you is stacking it with my small Cartier Love bracelet. I haven't screwdriver it on if that even makes sense but just to give you an idea of how it looks so they are very similar in size and then it looks very nice just stacked like that I think so the hinged cuff and then the small love bracelet and then I also have the small love ring on so that's a really nice looking stack there and then I will show you how it looks with a Van Cleef and Arpels bracelet. Just give me a minute because they're a little bit tricky to get on. Okay, we're back. So if we're looking at it with, say, a Van Cleef and Arpels bracelet, this is how your stack would look. Again, with the Cartier Small Love bracelet. So that looks pretty nice together. This is the White Mother of Pearl with yellow gold. If you're interested in knowing about any of these pieces, I have done review videos on literally every piece of jewellery that I own. So I will link those in the description below if you want to watch a review or an unboxing, say, of like my Van Cleef and Arpels jewellery or my Cartier or my Bulgari jewellery. You can find those videos in the description below. So that looks pretty nice stacked together too. You could also stack this bracelet with like the Hermes click clack bracelet that would look really nice or any of the other Hermes enamel bracelets would look really really nice stacked up against this one. Now I have pulled up one of the current versions of this bracelet on my phone so that I can give you the size details. Now I have measured the thickness and it is 2 mils. Um, it says narrow hinged bracelet imprinted enamel with rose gold plated hardware 
wrist circumference 7.5 inches width 0.74 inches so that gives you the details and this is this particular one obviously the enamel um, print is different on all of the different ones but this gives you a nice close-up view of say the wording and the inscription on the bracelet so it's a really pretty bracelet. It's kind of understated. It's kind of not really known. I feel like not that many people know about this bracelet or have probably even really seen it because I don't think there is too many of them available. I think Hermes has really expanded to a heap of other different bracelets and this one is kind of just one of them. Um, a few years ago this one was definitely a lot more popular and they bought it out in heaps of different prints but I'm not sure about now how many different prints are available. If you can get hold of a pre-owned one in one of these fun prints that's also a really good idea it's pretty lightweight it's pretty comfortable it's very much similar to the click clack bracelet if you have a click clack bracelet just imagine this is pretty much exactly what it feels like in the same sort of weight when I got this bracelet um, a few years ago I remember it being about 800 ish Australian dollars I noticed on the Hermes US website it currently retails for 660 uh, US dollars I'm assuming that's excluding tax here in Australia we include tax so our price is a little bit different but I hope you enjoyed that video um, Hope you enjoyed my little mini review. It's a really cute bracelet. It's something really different. It's not obviously Hermes and I really like it. It's really pretty. It goes with a lot of different outfits. As you can see my one sort of like suits earth tone, suits animal print, suits pinks. I like how it has the two different enamel colors so you can wear it whichever way out. You know depending on what you're wearing it can suit a variety of different outfits.